Well, welcome back to video number five on simplifying children's toys. I didn't expect it to be this many, but I guess we kind of opened a can of worms with this one. So today let's talk about children's books. How many should you have? How many is too many? Well, if you don't want to sit through a whole video just to find out the number, we have 56 or 14 per child. But there was actually some strategy involved of how we arrived at that number, and I'll share that with you next. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from theminimalmom.com. My family of six and I, we live as minimalists. And when I told my husband that I wanted to take on this lifestyle, his only request was that we not look weird. And so I guess that could kind of be our tagline, making family minimalism not look weird. And so I love sharing tips and tricks of how you can achieve this lifestyle quickly. And like I said, this is video number five on simplifying kids toys. So I'll link to all the other videos in this series below and be sure to subscribe because there's actually quite a few more videos on this same topic coming up. Well, anytime we tackle a new topic to simplify in our house, I think it's always helpful to look at the big picture. So children's books, what is my goal with it? I have two goals. One, I want my kids to love to read. I know that it'll make their life easier if they can read easily. It helps in school and just other areas of life and it's also a proven fact that reading is more relaxing than pretty much any other activity outside of like meditating you know TV can actually stimulate us cause anxiety but reading allows us to kind of escape and really it shows that I think six minutes of reading can reduce our stress by 90% that's huge so I want that for my kids I've also noticed that it's been a benefit in my life as as well so I want to have a household that loves to read and the second thing is that I'd like our children's books to still fit in my overall strategy of raising kids that are just content with a little bit less stuff because we, I think we've all learned by now, more stuff doesn't equal happiness. And so when we started looking at children's books, you know, I, I'm really not afraid to kind of just go to the extreme and get rid of stuff. But if you really just like, can I just have a number please? We have 56 kids books and they all fit on this shelf right here, which I was actually surprised that we had that many. It doesn't look that, that much right but here's the great thing about kids is that they can read the same thing over and over again they can play with the same toy over and over again and it's new to them every time in fact kids actually find comfort in reading the same thing over and over again and, and doing the same thing every single day so when you're simplifying books don't be worried that they're gonna get bored with their books so there's a few questions that I like to ask when I'm going through a process like this one is in regard to my kids how many can they reasonably take care of if all of those books get pulled off the shelf and they're everywhere on the floor can I in good conscience tell my kids that they need to pick them up and organize them again in the past when we had probably 200 books that was a big task it was too much for them it was overwhelming and I would end up being the one to pick them up again and so by having fewer books I have no problem if they pull them all out those 56 books they can put them back the second question is if I ask them to go pick out a book before bedtime if we're gonna sit down and read can they do it easily if you have too many books it takes a long time for them to decide and it kind of gets stressful and we get impatient waiting for them so by having fewer books it's much easier for them to make decisions and then a third question is okay let's say I accidentally got rid of too many children's books how easy is it to replace them? Well, I don't know about you, but in our area, children's books are a dime a dozen at garage sales or thrift stores. And so if I accidentally got rid of too many books, it wouldn't be that hard to replace them. In fact, I probably would just need to call my mom, just mention that we might need a few more kids books and within the week, I would probably have a dozen more. And so truly, it's an area where I don't think we have to worry about going too far. And so, but this is cool. Like a lot of areas in our life, once we've simplified it, I've actually noticed, A, our kids really look forward to going to the library, and that's something we've started doing more this year, and they also do spend more time reading. And it's fun to, to see them pick up a book that maybe we've read a bunch of time at bedtime, and then they sit down with the book and they start kind of like reading it to themselves and reciting the storyline because they're familiar with it. And speaking of library books, you know, if I were to be really honest, in the past, library books were too stressful to me because we had, you know, four young kids. They would, a lot of times my mom would take them to the library, they'd bring these books home, and it was this big liability to me to protect the books, make sure they didn't get written in or the pages pulled out, and to then try and locate them in two weeks when they were due again. And so it was really kind of stressful. But now we have a system, we have a basket on the bottom shelf that's dedicated to library books. And so that's where their library books go. They have to be there every night when they go to bed. And if 
not, I keep them and then they don't get to check out as many books when we go to the library the next time. And so that has been working awesome. And the kids are having so much fun when we go to the library now picking out new books. So that's been really fun for them. Well, I guess that's all today. But like I said, I'll link to those other videos in our series down below. Be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions about kids books or any other things toy related. I would love to answer that. And certainly if you have a method for keeping children's books under control in your house, leave it down below. A lot of people find really helpful advice in the comments. And as always, the best compliment that you can give us is a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe so that you're notified when new videos are released.